is your body you decide what you want with it you decide how you want to keep it hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is the first time you're seeing me welcome my name is Chiwendo and I love to do videos I show how we can affordably look fashionable while being on budget and also just going you know I like to do a lot of bag review and I also like to try to find a common like a, a balance or a middle ground between being too cheap and being frugal so I you know and also heading towards being a financially independent okay so if these are like the things you like to watch come on join us in this journey let's go but today's video is going to be a whole totally today's about life today is about something that you know maybe it, it never happened to you but you might have friends or maybe you might have you know relative that are going through this you know female problem so today is about vagina health and the reason why I brought this up is that I just recently had a, a family member that suffered from this and because I've, I've also been a victim of this and this is the Botulin cyst and what it is is on your private part, your vagina, there's this pure like dirt, it's a gland that secretes, that secretes home, um, lubricants that when you are rose sexually and you're intimidate with int, intimidate intimate 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 ah, intimate with your partner it make sex much easier it lubricate lubricate you know so it's located at the bottom of your uh, libia monaro and when these glands get when the opening gets closed then it inflame with obviously because the secretion are not going out so it's flame uh, but and then it cause from what i read it's only one side that is supposed to be affected it's you know it's it should be one side but you never know sometimes it might be both and this didn't happen in for me about two years ago i experienced something like that and i wasn't sure because i was scared i wasn't what, sure what it was and i thought the first thing that came into my head was maybe i have cancer so i decided to go to my physician and he looked at it he's like you're okay it's just a cyst is the battalion cyst and it's not a problem as long as it doesn't it's not painful for me mine wasn't painful but subconsciously i knew it was there and every time well i wasn't seeing anyone then but it was it wasn't something that my body was accepting i wanted to know what it was and i would never had any information the doctor just said it's okay as long as it's not painful it can uh dissolve you know resolve itself and i waited for a couple months and it was still there so i decided to see my gani and she said yeah it shouldn't be a problem because it's not painful and you know but for me it's different it's about my body it's about accepting me as who i am so and she said well either i let i leave it to like resolve itself you know or i could get it drained so i went ahead and got it drained but then i started researching more about this and i really wanted to talk about this because this is even though a lot of people don't experience this this is something that happened to women and i was reading from what i understood most uh most people who most women who are affected are either caucasian or black i think they like hispanic they said it's hispanic women don't really really have it but these days you can never you know exempt any race from any sort of disease because everybody just gets everything so um i during the process of researching i i had one of my relatives go through that process but hers was very painful she's a very she's a very young girl so i was like why was hers painful but mine wasn't painful i went into details and i realized that when it becomes an abscess it goes from a cyst to an abscess that's when it becomes painful and when it got, gets to the point of being an abscess it means that it's infected and most um the bacteria 
it's infected with a bacteria so you have to use an antibacterial you know um, medication on that and most one i think one of the bacteria that is responsible for that is an e coli and so i also watched some videos on youtube ladies who had gone through it and talked about it and i'm really happy i went through the comment section to see what like the, what people are saying about this because videos like this you never know if you will attract a lot of hate comments you don't know if people are just gonna just say rubbish but these days in one thing I'm, I'm accepting and loving about this generation is that everybody is open-minded hopefully and you know issues that were really difficult to talk about in the past people are talking about it more frequently this is and, and i'm loving it so on uh, in a comment i saw that a lot of you know it's, it's amazing how many women have had this and from also what i understand is that this is recurrent you can treat it now and next three months it can come back so it's not a guarantee because you drained it or because you use home remedy to get it you know resolve that that is final that it will never come back no and even though my has been a couple months uh since you know since i drained it and there's nothing like you know um i still have in the back of my mind that something like that can still occur in the future what how my uh, guy needed my was that she put a tube uh, not a tube a catheter in which helped in like draining out the whole thing and then it felt the catheter fell out after that and then home remedy people were saying that you can use a seeds bath it's especially when it's painful because then it create like kind of uh, a mouth or something where you could pop out you know um with the seeds bath like warm water and all of that you know helping to like pull the um, drainage out and also they recommended a product named PRID prayed I think they sell it at Walmart for like five dollars from what I understand or even maybe um, Louise fancy or maybe uh, any drugstore you can go in and see if they have it you can just use it to apply on the thing it also helps suction out uh, drain out pull the drain so that it will rupture or bust so that the drain will come out um so it's a whole it's this topic it's a very complicated topic and people might think oh maybe because you're sexually active or because yeah you're sexually active but that does not mean that that's the reason why that happened things other things like that can cause this are like hormonal or stress so because when my happened, I wasn't sexually active, okay? So, that is what I really wanted to talk about on this. Please leave a comment and let me know what, you know, if you ever dealt with something like this and how you went about it. Because this is, even though a lot of men don't talk about this or they don't, you know, put it out there in social media. These are, this, this is something that everyone like not everyone people go through this is like someone's someone right now is experiencing that pain and then it brought me back to like when i was i think when i was a teenager i did experience something like that but i didn't know what it was and my brother being a doctor he was the one that raptured it and gave me some antibiotics because i just went from i don't know what happened a day i just i was just in so much pain and when i felt my private part I felt something bouchy, bouchy, and it was very painful. I could not walk, but you know, I did not know what it was. <laughs> okay, so he, being a doctor, he helped me get that corrected, and it's just amazing how you, as a woman, you you know, your body changes every day, and and I'm loving it. Just don't let anyone shame me because you know because they think they they perfect or their body no it is your body you decide what you want with it you decide how you want to keep it okay just make sure that you look after your body that's one thing make sure you look after your body it's very important so yeah guys that is what i have today for that this topic called battalion cyst it's a gland, uh, a gland that secretes, um, that lubricate, that lubricate um, your private part when you're intimate, intimate. I can't say that word, but then it goes uh, when 
it cannot really secretion can drain out can drain out or secrete then it goes into it becomes a bottling cyst and then when the bottling cyst get infected it becomes an a bottling abscess okay so that is how it progresses like how it goes okay so thank you so much guys and leave and let every other person leave okay i'll see you in my next video i'm loving my natural hair i'm walking there it is very hard don't even know i moisturized it <laughs> okay bye